Good morning and welcome to the Comfy Crafter. I am the Comfy Crafter and today we're going to be unboxing the next Crochet Society box. I think this one's number 37. Um, before we start, can I just talk about the box itself? It is beautiful. It's giving me sort of, I don't know, Moroccan tile vibes? <laughs> Something oriental anyway. Oriental? No, Greek. No. I don't know. But it is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Now these are monthly subscription boxes, so uh, this one is Escape to Your Happy Place. They always come wrapped in uh, tissue paper, which is really nice. I've never figured out what to do with the boxes, but um, mine are all piled on a shelf. So let's get this opened up and see what's inside. Let's try and do this without ripping it, but unfortunately the sticker is really sticky today. Um, oh yeah. Alright, what have we got? We have got some wool. What's this? Bambino Stylecraft Double Knitting. And we have got that in three different shades. We've got um, Clotted Cream. We've got vintage blue Ooh, we've got a focusing issue and we have got a second lot of clotted cream so that's interesting they're good sized uh, good sized um, balls of wool as well they're not they're not uh, not skimping on the wool today and next up we have got the stitch marker again it's got this sort of tile vibe very pretty um, if you can see that let's just uh, let's just zoom in see if we can get a better view of that same style as is on the outside of the box excellent um, Sorry about my chunky editing there. <laughs> we've also got uh, we've got stuffing, which suggests there's some sort of toy uh, design in here. Um, oh. We've got a, a four millimeter um, hook. With why is that not focusing today? Come on, focus. There we go. Uh, lemons and limes by the looks of it. Beautiful. Um, in here we have some little safety eyes. So, uh, yeah, that suggests there is going to be. I'll get the other one out. There is some sort of animal in this pack. So. Right, and then we have got a very nice um, Bella Crochet Chart Keeper. What's this? Gonna have to have a look into this. Looks like it looks like it's uh, magnetic and guessing it allows you to scan down the your patterns but um let's have a let's have a read about that in the in the book I think. Oh this is a hefty uh hefty I'm getting all tangled. A hefty book to go along with uh, today's box. So July 2022. They they seem to have uh, updated the the style actually. So I don't know whether they're um, they're whether all future ones are going to come with a slightly more substantial booklet. But let's have a quick look inside. So what have we got? So looking at this, we've got a shawl. Um. A blanket and sea turtles. Oh, they're adorable. I like that. 
let's let's go to page uh, twelve and see what um let's see what it says is in the book. In in here, by the way, you get um you tend to get three patterns um as a standard, but uh so just have a quick look through. Yeah, so we've got the sea turtles, the shawl. That's a cat. Get down, Dobbs. <laughs> Looks like we've got a few different sizes of sea turtles, which will be really nice. Uh, you get uh, tips and tricks on um, on basic um, crochet uh, stitches. <laughs> and then the third pattern. Ah, now this one's got a proper, a proper chart with it. I haven't quite got the hang of charts yet, but uh, we shall see. Right, let's have a quick look at page twelve. So, in page on page twelve, we have got um, ah, it says two balls of Stylecraft Bombino DK, but we've got three. Um, and yeah, a hook and stitch marker, which we saw. And the pattern keeper will allow you to hold your patterns. See that that is actually quite useful. Um, sometimes I I worry when you get subscription boxes that you're just going to get things that you're never going to use. But actually, uh, being able to go through a pattern and not have to um, use like pens and stuff on it is really good. Um, so, ingenious magnetic pattern keeper will hold your patterns for you, so you can relax knowing that your project is always to hand. That is uh, that is actually spot on. But, so, um, I think these boxes are around thirty pounds a month. Um, so, and and you do tend to get. Um, more than your money's worth on there <laughs> in in the boxes along with videos on how to uh how to actually go about doing um whatever your your chosen project is i'm not entirely sure what i'm going to do this time i might end up doing the um the sea turtles just because they're quite cute um and i'm currently making the bag from the last box so uh so yeah i might go back to animals this time so yeah so we've got the uh we've got the cheat sheet we've got a magnetic uh pattern binder three balls of wool some stuffing safety eyes and our stitch marker and um our hook I'm, I struggled at first with the with the hooks in these boxes because they're they're like a polymer clay, um, and I'd been used to soft grip ones. But actually, more recently, I've really enjoyed working with these with these hooks. So um, I'm I always uh, like to uh, add to my collection. But um, yeah, um, I'll put on my Instagram which one I uh, end up doing because. Because my brain has gone to mush. <laughs> um, if you like these videos, please do consider um, liking and subscribing because it really does help me get an idea of, of what I should be doing in the future. Um, and as always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. <laughs>